No! Oh my, oh my god. god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He almost choked me by the wrist. He almost I think I'm gonna cook him. You're gonna cook this thing? Guys, if you wanna check out what happens to this snake, check it out. We're gonna put it in his truck right now. Yeah. I just need to say it, so oh my god. We're gonna continue to skin this guy right here. We wanna get the it as even as possible right down the middle. We're gonna start cutting some of this meat away right here. We're gonna try it right now and see what it tastes like. What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode. Guys, I am just overwhelmed with all the support you guys have been showing me. In the past 24 hours, we have gained over 5,000 subscribers. Our family is now at about 6,600. It is absolutely insane and that is because of a video that I did with Catch'em All Zach and Monster Mike where they gave me a call when they were fishing. They thought they saw a snake or they were, really they did see a snake and I went and we found a 15 foot monster python in the sewers here in South Florida. So I know all of my previous subscribers probably haven't seen that video and if you have, great. And if you have not, here's a little clip of it right now. Crap, bro, this is all on you. It's all on you. Kelly, please help me out. Help me out. Oh my gosh. Let's go in and go in and get it. Why don't you just scoop it or something? No, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna go grab it. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh
Bro. Woo! You are the snake king. Oh my god, what you are you doing? You are the snake king. Bro, what the hell? Look, guys, look how guys, big this, this snake... has to be. Oh my god. 14 feet. Oh, all stretched out. Oh, that is insane. Amazing. Guys, we're just... No less than 12. Look at the size oh, of this. Easy. My gosh. Guys, bro, I think it's so much bigger than I thought. Look bro, how... Wait, like can I touch it, bro? Head. Touch it, touch it. He has his head. I got his head. Bro, Mike, lay down next to it, Mike. I'm gonna lay yeah. down next to it. Lay down, lay down. Let's Zach, lay down. hold this for a second. Yeah. Can I go like right here, this? Right here, Wait, right will you strangle me? No. Oh my Bro. gosh. Guys, Stay look. here while I'm standing. Look. Look how big this snake is. Bro. Hey, I don't want his head by me, I won't. I won't. <laughs> look, guys, look. I know. Bro. Take him away from the water a little bit. You don't want to drag him too much. Okay. okay. Stretch him right here. I'm gonna lay down. Oh! You can't do anything with that. No, he almost choked me by the, the wrist. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my do you god. Hear it? Bro, do you hear it? Oh no! Wait, wait. Will he wrap around me and, and try oh, to. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Listen, get close, get close. Get close, oh. you can hear it. He just pooped on you, Mike. No! Oh! He just got pooped on. Got pooped you got pooped, pooped on, Mike. Oh. Guys, this is the oh biggest snake god. I've ever That's seen. This is one of the biggest, biggest that I've caught. This is true. Zach, this bro, is this is bro. insane. The this craziest, is insane. These are running. These are around the Everglades. Guys, we are insane. about. I want to say maybe four or five miles from the Everglades. We're down here in Miami. Uh, look at it stretching out. Amazing. Look at how long this is next oh. to even me. I think it's hot on the concrete. He's hot. Pick him up. Think so? Yeah, pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Put him back okay. to the water. You got this. Let's go. Woo! Oh, that feels so Woo. weird. Oh, oh my god. What are we gonna do with him? Is this good? Is this okay? So, what are you gonna do with this thing, bro? So, by the state law, we have to, you know, euthanize them. Okay. It sucks, but right. I think I'm gonna cook them. You're, you're bro, gonna cook this gonna, thing? Guys, if you want to check out what happens to this snake, check it out. We're gonna put it in his truck right now. Yeah. I just need a second, so. Oh my god. So, now that you guys did see that little clip, I wanna explain exactly what we're gonna be doing with that python. So, unfortunately, by the state law here in Florida, any Burmese pythons that are caught out in the Everglades, they do have to be humanely euthanized because they are not supposed to be here. They are wrecking absolute havoc on our, you know, ecosystem out here. They're killing alligators, crocodiles, they're killing birds, mammals. They're killing everything in their path and it's creating a huge unbalance. Now, me, like all of you guys, I absolutely love animals. As you can see, I have so many of them here at my house. I have a cage right there. I work with big cats and monkeys. But the sad reality of it is that they do have to be euthanized. No one likes doing it. Everyone that's going out to hunt these pythons or catch them, none of them like to kill them, but they love to catch them. They love the animals. They love the reptiles. So we are going to actually be putting some of this snake to good use. I'm going to be skinning them right now. I'm going to be putting that skin on my wall once it is tanned. And then we're actually going to be eating this python. Guys, it is time to skin this snake and we are going to use his meat and we are going to cook it on the grill. And the snakes will move a little bit. As you can see, he is already, you know, dead and he is moving a little bit. He does not feel anything right now. What you see moving right here, just very little bit, is his muscles. His muscles are moving, but he does not feel it at all. So, mind you, I absolutely hate having to do this. It sucks, but that is the reality of it. So we're gonna start by cutting right here. This is actually the first python that I've skinned. I'm gonna actually put this one on the wall. So you do wanna just flip them over just like this, just like this. And I see, I'm gonna try and start with these scissors right here. So if you guys come around right over here, you can check this out. You wanna take the knife and you wanna cut all along here. So we're just gonna start with this nice skinning knife right here. This is way tougher than you would think, but once you get it started, it really is quite easy to do. Guys, look how crazy this is right here. This snake has already been dead for a couple of hours, but his muscles are still going. So as I'm skinning him, he's like coiling up. Now he doesn't feel this at all, so you guys don't have to worry, he's not in pain, he is not suffering, but it's just crazy how this muscle stays alive for so long. Like, look at this, this is wild, this is absolutely insane. We're gonna continue to skin this guy right here. We wanna get the it as even as possible, right down the middle. Because we are gonna be putting this guy on the wall. Look at that, this snake is full of fat. That's all fat right here. So we're not gonna use this. I may give this to a buddy of mine, a buddy of mine actually utilizes 
every single part of the pythons. He'll actually go and he'll make soap out of the fat. He makes some little voodoo oil stuff that you like put in your mouth for like, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but he makes some crazy stuff out of the pythons. Guys, we got the python all cut open. So if you come right over here, you can actually take a look at what is inside of him. This is absolutely crazy, guys. This is all fat right here, but this is crazy. Like, this is nuts. Look at this. We want to take out all the organs. I mean, look at that. You have all the veins in here. This is like, this is some real deal alien stuff. Like, we literally have these aliens in our backyards. Like, these guys are running around the Everglades or crawling around the Everglades. I mean, like, look at this. What the heck? This is some crazy stuff. This is like, this is all like fat, I think. Yeah, this is all fat. Look at that. How nuts is that? That's insane. Guys, we got the python completely cleaned out. If you look at him, he's all clean on the inside. And look, this is all of his organs right here. So you have some poop in right here that's completely covered up. This is all fat right here. And then there's something in his stomach. I don't know what it is. There's two dots right here. So we're going to actually cut it open and see what it is. Ew. What is that? Oh my gosh. It's like a... I think it's a, I think it's an alligator. Oh my gosh, guys. I think this is a baby alligator. Whoa, I don't know what this is. What the heck? What is this? Guys, comment down below if you know what this is. I have no idea what this is. This is really strange looking. What the, doesn't smell. Is this part of his organs? There's no way. This is crazy, guys. Look. This is an alien living inside of this snake. Guys, we found, like, a real-life alien inside of this snake. Like, what is this? I mean, I don't know. Look, you cut it open. Like, what is this? Is this, like, is this salami? Is this beef jerky? Guys, we put that little alien-looking thing in the bucket. Now we're gonna put all these guts in there, or organs, whatever you wanna call it. I mean, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is gonna go right in the bucket, and then it's gonna go in the freezer in a garbage bag. And then when it's trash day, that's going bye-bye. It is about to literally pour, be a hurricane here, but we gotta finish this snake up. You can see I nailed him in right there. We are about to skin this 15-foot monster. So you put the nail in, I have the skin, and all you want to do is hold the table. The table's not in place. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Guys, we have part of this snake skin right here. You can see, look how wide this skin is. I'm just gonna hold it up for you guys. We only have part of this snake skin, but look at that. This is gonna be an absolutely beautiful hide. He's got a little tear right there. That's all good. Oh, he's all good there. Guys, we're gonna start right here. We're gonna get right in the muscle. We're gonna start cutting some of this meat away right here. We wanna get some of that muscle or whatever meat this is. I've never done a python before, but we're just gonna cut some of that away to cook on the grill. We're gonna cut right there just like this. Mind you, the snake is moving. He does not feel this at all. This is all his muscles. We got this little piece right here. We're just gonna cut it up a little bit. We gotta make some python stew, guys. Python stew for dinner. Guys, check this out. We got this python entirely skinned out and it is an absolute monster. I mean, just look at it. I had one mess up. It's my first time skinning a python and I had this little mess up where I cut it, but it can be fixed. You know, you can glue it right there. But besides that, this skin is just beautiful. Look at these patterns. I cannot wait to get this tan and put on the wall. Guys, now that I got this python skinned out, it is finally time to go put the python on the grill and try it. Okay guys, we are inside. We have the python. We just want to rinse it off right now under the water. Get it nice and clean. There we go, nice and perfect. So we're just gonna trim away some of that little muscle area and then we're just gonna put the meat inside this tin foil right here. We're just gonna let it simmer on the grill and then we're gonna eat it. This is actually all the python that I am going to cook. We don't need to cook all that because if we're being quite honest, 
I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm going to have a couple bites, and that is it. But I do want to season it with some of this Creole seasoning. It's spicy, good stuff. I think it's going to be delicious on the python. I'm going to season it. Some salt bay going right here. Some salt bay action. So guys, we have the python season. We have the grill on. The grill is ready to go. It's at 500 degrees. Oh, yeah. Woo, that almost, uh, well, I almost broke the lid. So we got our python, the Cajun python. So we're just going to stick it right on there and let it cook. This python should be just about done. Let's take a look. And yes, it looks done. So I'm going to try. We're going to, I don't have any tonsils. Okay, perfect. We got some python nuggets. Guys, the python is done. It is time to finally eat it. But I want all of you guys to come take a look at how rubbery it is. Let's look at this piece right here. Look how spongy it is. It's like, can't even barely cut it. Look at that. So we put the Cajun seasoning on it. It's like, I think it's done. It looks done. We're gonna try it right now and see what it tastes like. It's actually really good. It doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes like rubbery chicken. It's just, you know, getting past the thought that I'm eating a snake right now. So it's kind of like, uh, uh, but at the same time, it's like, it's, it's, it's not bad. Well, that wasn't all that bad. I mean, it's a snake and I thought it was gonna be absolutely disgusting, but it just tasted like chewy chicken, almost like gator. It really is just a mental thing. But these snakes do contain really high levels of mercury, so you really shouldn't eat it all that often. So you wanna eat it in little amounts. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. So come take a look at these other pieces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this one as well. It really wasn't bad at all. Guys, that is going to end another episode here today. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. I had an absolute blast skinning, cooking, and eating this python. You can see the python right here. It really wasn't all that bad. Everybody should try it at least once. You know, maybe you like it. Who knows? But anyways, guys, we have had an absolute explosion in subscribers the past two days. I just want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you guys have been showing me. We're at just over 7,000 subscribers, I think. I think it's like 7,200. I don't know. I got to go take a look because it's just growing nonstop. And if you guys have not already, please go give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want all of you guys to go comment down below if you would eat a python. I'm curious to see how many of my viewers would eat a python. And also, guys, if you like my videos and you are not subscribed already, it is the first link down below. And I want to give a special shout out to Genesis Perez. She picked out the two names that I liked best for the Spotted Turtles, Rose and Peach. So thank you, Genesis, for picking those names.